bless you. God bless you. Welcome to Shekinah Tabernacle Gospel Church. Pastor Barksdale here with another Bible study recap and devotional. Thank God for you joining us tonight. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Share this word. Share the worship of the Lord. Also, go over to our YouTube page, Shekinah Tabernacle uh, Gospel Church Detroit. Go ahead, uh, like, subscribe, ring that bell so we can get this word of the Lord out. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at faith in the gospel. Let me go ahead and get this up for you. Praise God. We're going to be looking at our faith in the gospel. Let's see here. All right. So our faith in the gospel is needed to please God. We got to keep that in mind. That our faith in the gospel is needed if we want to please God. We cannot please God. The Bible is going to let us know that we cannot please God without faith. So Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 says this. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So what we look to cover is we got to understand that faith in the gospel is necessary to please God. And some may ask, well, what is the gospel? The gospel is the birth, the life, the ministry, the death, burial, resurrection, and second coming of Jesus Christ. We got to understand it. According to the word of God, he's coming back. He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. And things are lining up. If you look and you study the Middle East and things that's going on, it's lining up. More and more enemies are coming against the nation of Israel. So we need to be praying for the peace and protection of Israel. But we also need to be con continue to prepare ourselves because the Lord is soon to return. His word says it. And that settles it. Amen. Last one. Salvation came into our heart. Watch this. Because of our faith in the gospel. The reason we have salvation is because of faith. And we're going to deal with that on this evening. So point number one is this. Faith pleases God. You wonder, how do I please God? Well, the way you please God is by having faith. And so before we go into this, the book of Hebrews, the, the book of Hebrews was written to Hebrew believers at that time that were looking to go back to their former religion of Judaism because they were dealing with so much turmoil. They were dealing with so much persecution that they were willing to go back to what they used to do. My God. And maybe somebody on here that you're 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 being tempted to go back to your old life, your life without Christ. My God, your life without the word of God. But what the writer does is that the writer begins to encourage the saints to let them know root word. The root word of Hebrews is the word better. That's right. Jesus is better. And he says through the scriptures where he's better than the angels. My God, he's better than the Old Testament sacrifices. He's better than Moses. My God, Jesus Christ will make you better. Whatever you're going through, he's able to take your bad, my God, and make it better. <laughs> Glory to God. So now we're in the book, we're in chapter 11, and here we're dealing with where they, they're called the heroes of faith. And so here, but actually, even though I'm starting in verse 6, this context actually starts back in verse 4, where he deals with Abel, saying, by faith, Abel offered up the sacrifice. So here, he's dealing with how through it's, it's through faith, through faith in God, not faith in faith, but faith in God. And so when we get to verse six, he says, but without faith, showing that you need faith. Watch this. But without faith, it is impossible to please him or please God. Watch this. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. You got to believe God is who he says he is. You got to believe according to the word of God that he is who he said he is. My God, he's your healer. He's your savior. My God. Watch this. That he is a rewarder. My God of them. He's a rewarder. He rewards those. Watch this that diligently or consistently seek him. You need to set yourself a schedule, take time aside to seek God's face. God said he going to bless you just for looking for him. He going to bless you just for running after him. 
My God, consistently doing it, taking time aside to pray, to fast, to study your word, to go to church, to fellowship with the saints, and setting aside time to diligently seek him, he will reward you, watch this, with his presence, with his blessings, with his love, with his power, with his anointing. My God, because it takes faith to please God. That's point number one. Point number two is this. Faith increases, watch this, by hearing whoo, the word. Faith increases by hearing the word. Ain't that something? Your faith increases. You grow in faith by hearing the word. Romans chapter 10, verse 17 says this. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Let's read it in the Amplified Version. Amplified Version says, so faith comes from hearing, my God. What is told woo, and what is heard, what is told, the gospel of Jesus Christ, the gospel message coming from the word of God, comes by the preaching, see, the preaching of the message concerning Christ, the preaching of the cross, the preaching of the gospel. Faith comes, your faith increases. Watch this. As you hear the preach word from your pastor, my God, uh-huh, or as you hear the, you, you hear the preach word from your pastor, or as well as you're reading it and you're hearing it. Faith comes from you hearing the word of God, reading the word of God, studying the word of God, but also through the preaching of the gospel from your local pastor. That's why it's all, That's why you got to get connected and hooked up to a church. My God, where the pastor is preaching the word of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so when you do that, your faith increases from hearing the word. It's the word that brings about an increase. All right, that's point number two. Point number three is this. We are saved by faith in God. That's point number three. We're saved by faith in God, of course, through his son, Jesus Christ. Look at Galatians chapter five, verse six. We're saved because of our faith in God. For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. It doesn't matter. You can't look at your nationality just because back then circumcision represented the Hebrew race, the Hebrew Jewish race. Uncircumcision rec represented the Gentile race. We are not saved because of our race. Your race or your culture can't get you saved. So we got to be careful about that. Even myself, I love my culture. I'm proud, my God, to be an African-American young man, black man. I embrace and I love my blackness, but I can't put my blackness or my race, watch this now, before my God. Hallelujah. Yes, I am an African-American man, but I'm first a Christian African-American man. Hallelujah. And I'm grateful for them. Hallelujah. Because my faith in God comes first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. My faith in God comes first. Hallelujah. Watch the last part. Nor uncircumcision, but faith, you hear that? Which worketh by love. It works by love. Your faith in God is working through you by God's love. God's love flowing through you by his spirit. You got it. The only way you get it is by having faith in God, but it works through love. People should see your love as you're walking, as you're ministering. You should be able to walk and talk in love, God's love flowing through you. That's point number two. We're saved by faith in God, not because of our culture, not because of our race. We're saved because of faith in Jesus Christ alone. Last point, point number four is this. Faith produces fruit. My God, faith produces fruit, or in other words, works. The end result of your faith should be that you're able to produce works or fruit. The end result of a seed being planted in the ground is that now you have a fruit tree. The proof of the seed is in the fruit. If I'm wrong, I call myself an orange tree, but I'm not producing oranges. I call myself an apple tree and I'm not producing apples. The proof should be in the pudding. Because I'm saved, the proof should be in my behavior and in my lifestyle. James 2 and 17 says, even so, if it have not even so faith, if it have not works, is dead, being alone. Amplified says so to faith. If it does not have works to back it up, my God, your behavior should back up your faith. It shouldn't be enough that you talk the talk but you don't live it. No, your life should back up your faith. My God, your works, your proof should back up your faith. Watch this. It is by itself dead. Faith by itself, no behavior, no proof, 
It's dead. It's inoperative. It's ineffective. It's not profiting anybody. But they got to go hand in hand. Faith and works go hand in hand. There should be proof that go along with your faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's my last point. Because that's how it works. It takes faith in God to please him. And my conclusion, let's continue in God's righteousness through the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let's continue in God's righteousness through the gospel of Jesus Christ and the word of God. Watch this. As a, re as a result, our faith in Jesus will continue to grow. My God, it was a song they used to sing when we were little. If you read your Bible and pray every day, you will grow, grow, grow. My God. But then they also said, if you don't read your Bible, and if you don't pray every day, you will shrink, shrink, shrink. So what happens? As your faith increases, as your faith grows, you grow in God. So let's continue to grow in God. Let's continue to grow in the faith of Jesus Christ. Continue to trust God. Continue to believe God. That is our theme for 2024 is the word continue. So we thank God for this word. I will say that if you're not saved, if you want to give your life to Christ or you want to rededicate your life back to Christ, pray this simple prayer with me. You're just a prayer away. Pray this prayer with me, Lord Jesus. Forgive me for the wrong I've been, for the wrong I've done. I believe you died on the cross for me. I believe you rose from the dead with all power. And with my mouth, I confess. And with my heart, I believe that you are Lord. I give my life to you. I rededicate my life to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, if you prayed that prayer, you have been born again. You're now saved. Your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Welcome to the family of God. Welcome to the family. Hallelujah. The angels in heaven are rejoicing because you gave your life to Christ. I will say that Shekinah Tabernacle is a Bible-believing, Bible-preaching church. We would love for you to connect with our ministry. All you got to do is text these letters, S-T-G-C, to the number 33777. Text the letters STGC to the numbers 33777. Follow the prompts that will get you connected. If you also wanted to be a blessing to this ministry, we would love for you to consider to be a blessing to this ministry. We have four ways you can give now. You can go ahead and give by Cash App, which is dollar sign Shekinah Tab. If you wanted to give by Giblify, that will be Shekinah Tabernacle Gospel Church. If you wanted to give by PayPal, that will be Shekinah Tabernacle Gospel Church. If you wanted to give by Zelle, that would be the word Shekinah Tab Detroit at gmail.com. And we'll put all that information in the combat in the comment box for you. Again, this is Pastor Barksdale just telling you again when it comes to Shekinah Tabernacle Gospel Church to be encouraged and God bless.